Governors elected on the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC in the Southwest Zone are divided over the presidential ambitions of former Lagos State Governor Asiwaju Bola Tinubu, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, and Ekiti State Governor and Chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF Dr. Kayode Fayemi. While Fayemi is still consulting, three of the five governors from the zone are said to be with Tinubu, and one is undecided whether to back Tinubu or Usibanjo. Governor Fayemi, who is eyeing the presidency, said to be in a consultation, is not backing Tinubu or Usibanjo. He has his ambition to pursue. His neighboring colleague from Ondo State, Governor Rotimi Akeredolo, is undecided. However, it was gathered that governors Babajide Sanwonlu of Lagos State, Boyega Oyetola of Oshun State, and Dakbo Abiodun of Ogun State are solidly behind Tinubu. This happens as aggrieved APC governorship aspirants in Ekiti, who lost out in last Thursday's primary, said they would not leave the party. Also, a federal high court sitting in Oshogbo, Oshun State, declined jurisdiction to entertain the case instituted by some aggrieved members of APC, lawyer to Interior Minister Raof Aregbesola, against the World Congress is held in the state. Meanwhile, a chieftain of the party and former House of Representatives Committee Chairman on National Security and Intelligence, Amin Usani Jaji, has weighed in on the crisis in the party, declaring that a national chairmanship aspirant and former governor of Zamfara State, Abdulaziz Yari, is not a registered member of the APC. A source who spoke with Vanguard in confidence said, the governor of Ogun State is with Tinubu. It was the Tinubu block that produced Dakwa as governor in 2019 and not Usibanjo's block. Ask the side of the divide Governor Fayemi belongs. A credible source told Vanga that Fayemi was still consulting on his presidential ambition. If we are going to come out, we must have crossed the T's and dotted the I's, and we know that we have hope and our chances are bright. There's no point coming out without making an impact. It is important to make due consultations and be sure that if I can come out, people will support me. He's not coming out to impress anybody. If it is necessary and the environment is okay, he will come out, he said. Asked if other APC governors were backing fire me, the source said, You cannot measure that. However, his colleagues love him, his leadership, direction, and the dynamism he has brought to bear, especially on the Nigerian Governors Forum. Meanwhile, in Oshun, the aggrieved party members and had urged the Federal High Court sitting in Oshobo to invalidate the World Congresses held in the state on July 31, 2021. The APC National Ketika Chairman, Governor Maimala Burning, Chairman of the Congresses and Appeal Committee, and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, among others, were joined as defendants in the suit. In his plenary objection, counsel to the party, Governor Burning and INEC urged that the case was a purely party affair, which the court should not double into, and that Governor Borney, by virtue of his position, cannot be sued in such matter, among other grounds. Counsel to the aggrieved party members Mahmoud Adeshin San said the court could hear the matter because it bordered on exclusion of party members. The presiding judge, Justice Emmanuel Ayola, while giving his ruling, held that the suit before the suit brought before the court was strictly a party affair, which the court could not meddle in. The claim of the plaintiff is to draw the court into the internal affairs of the party, which is not enshrined in the Constitution. The Supreme Court has said courts can't interfere with the internal issue of a party unless it fails under Section 87 of 9 of the Electoral Act. The plaintiff are not qualified to be called aspirant in the said Congress. An aspirant is someone who has participated in an election. The fact remains that this matter does not relate to the nomination of any candidate. Accordingly, the dispute does not fall under Section 87 of 8 of the Electoral Act and Section 251 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The case of the plaintiff is not covered by the law and can't be adjudicated by the court, he ruled. Meanwhile, a coalition of APC women groups 
has asked President Mohamed Buhari to postpone indefinitely the national convention of the party fixed for February 26th. This was contained in a statement signed by Dr. Cecilia Ikechuku and other members in Abuja yesterday. The coalition said there were many contentious and unresolved issues which might affect the outcome of the convention. Your Excellency, currently the party has factions in 14 states, which is because the Caretaker and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, CECPC, under His Excellency, my Mala Burning, has done a good job in reconciling factions in other states and reorganization of the party. The party is yet to recover from the attendant losses from elections that were ordinarily guaranteed in Rivers and Zamfara during the 2019 general elections. Instead of learning the hard lessons contained in those avoidable experiences, the state governors and the colluding party leaders are rather adamant on repeating the show of shame on a national scale by fixing a date for the national convention without first resolving the damaging issues on ground. As it's with Rivers and Zamfara states, there are legal implications for how the party is progressing into a national convention with all the issues surrounding the party. We fear the APC is now firmly placed to lose all the positions our members will contest for, not only at the polls but on legal technicalities as was the case in those two states, the group stated. The women group also appealed that the convention be postponed indefinitely to allow the CECPC resolve these issues within the next three days and come up with a comprehensive report on how to navigate the murky waters the APC currently finds itself. That the Abdullahi Adamu committee be disbanded immediately and a new committee set up since this committee has serially failed in its mandate. That Mr. President unites the APC stakeholders and lead them to counter the influence of the cabals that want to destroy the party from within at all costs. It is our firm belief that these steps, if urgently taken, can pull the APC from the brink, although the window for saving the party is fast closing. Please, Mr. President, save the APC from implosion, the statement added. APC is a failed party, seriously failed party, and the crisis, they've been having crisis um, for a long time. You know, it was even the same crisis that uh, that um, sent Adam Soshomole out, and ever since Adam Soshomole was even removed because he, he was said that he was the problem in the party, was the cause of all the problems in the party, even after removing Adam Soshomole, the party is still in serious crisis all because of their personal interest, not ready to serve the people, fighting for their own stomach and their own um, their own interests and their ambitions, which is causing the clashes here and there. Well, guys, 2023 uh, politicking has started. Southwest APC governors, they are divided over Tinubu, Usibanjo, and Fire Me. Let's hear your thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again on more updates. Bye.